Hi there, and welcome to another quick Tableau tip from Data Source Rex. Today we're going to focus on custom color palettes and how to make them. But first off, what are they? So essentially in Tableau, you know, one of the things you can control is the color within your data visualizations. And it's great, you know, if you want to draw attention to certain data points, but equally if you're working for a company and you've got to internally brand some of your outputs, it's good for that too, to have those custom colors. Um, there are many built-in options to Tableau, which are all really great and I highly recommend you use them because they're all kind of based on scientific principles and best practices. But again, if you do need to make your own, here's how you do it. So essentially, you already have to find your colors you're happy with, and then you have to translate those colors into hexadecimal code, which are numbers or letters. There's six of them. And there are different ways to find these. Um, once you have them, you can either use Photoshop, use the dropper tool, and kind of pick it, and then it will just tell you what the uh, value is down here. You just copy paste that, put it into a notepad or something. Equally, you can use online tools if you don't know what colors you want to use. And you know, you choose that color and then boom, here are hex codes or here. And again, uh, go to the link in the description below and this presentation will be here and you can kind of click on this link and find out where to go to get those kind of things. So once you have those, this is where you do, kind of do a bit of a slightly bit of codey stuff. You know, you're going to code. Um, you are going to open up, first off you have to find this special Tableau file called a Tableau preference file or TPS, kind of look like this. Uh, default locations in Windows are here, and in Macs they're here. Once you've found it, open it up with a text editor, you know, like Notepad++, Notepad, or text edit, and it will kind of look like this. And um, this is then when you pop in the special code with the hex, the decimal values for colors. Um, it gets a bit confusing, so again, click here in this presentation or in the link in the description below. I built a nice little template you can just use where you pop in the values and the name of your color palette here and you copy the code here, pop it in, and there's more instructions on how to do that. But once you pop the data in and saved this Tableau preference file, you can now go into Tableau and it's now available. So you see in the drop down, this new one exists. There's horrible colors, but you get the idea they're now available for you to make in your visualization. And these will persist. So when you save this workbook, they'll stay with the workbook. So when you share them either with the workbook file, a package workbook or online, um, they'll stay with it. So you won't get mixed results when you start sharing this stuff. So that's kind of it. That's how you make your custom color palettes in Tableau. Again, check out the link and you'll have all the details and all the tools on how to do that. So thank you very much, guys. If you enjoyed this, um, like, comment and subscribe. And if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. And equally, if you want me to tackle any other things you want me to answer or build tutorials around, let me know again in the comments. Um, thank you very much and until the next one.